Hi, welcome to another video from SQL Maestro's Elapsed time since SQL Server started. This looks more like a forum question uh, rather than really a presentation or a, or a long demo. So um, uh, this again is inspired by a question that came in the forum and someone wanted to know the start time of SQL Server process. And um, there are two ways to look at things. One is the actual start time is when the SQL Server database engine started. And the other thing is computing all of that and doing a reverse calculation as to how many seconds or minutes has uh, passed by since SQL Server has started. So I wanted to show a quick demo of two things here, uh, trying to get that information from a dynamic management view and uh, also trying to see something from performance monitor. So there is a counter there and I will try to play around with that uh, object and counter in performance monitor and uh, hopefully you will learn something new. So as usual, uh, let's uh, get to demos. Let's begin. So uh, there is a DMV here, sysdmossysinfo and this DMV has a data column there, SQL Server start time. So pretty straightforward, if I select this, execute you will be able to see the start time so the C sql server was uh, started at whatever uh, 3rd of may there um, and that says 13 17 which is 1 pm 17th minute and then uh, you have the um, uh, 10th second and 327 uh, millisecond i mean so that kind of information all good but i want to actually also find so pretty straightforward here but i also want to find out uh, the number of seconds or number of hours that have passed by since SQL Server started. So uh, declaring a few variables, trying to get the information from uh, get date and subtract it from this information and getting the hour, the minute and the second and multiplying and trying to get the complete time, the total time in seconds. So if I execute all of this, I will get, um, uh, okay, this is what I need to see. So let me just uh, select date time let me comment this and I want to see the number of seconds so as it shows here that 5166 seconds have passed by since SQL Server engine has started so I just started the VM a few um, minutes back so the number is of course very low in production environment this is going to be a very big uh, number 5166 so all easy but what I also want to show and this is a lot of fun stuff if I go into perf mon performance monitor and i hope this will be something new so if i click on performance monitor remove all the counters from here click on the plus sign and there is uh, an object here uh, which is called as thread and getting into threads and processes uh, for sql server so let me scroll down and try to find out the thread object there you have thread and if i expand that there is uh, a counter here which says elapsed time uh, elapsed time since this thread was started and here we get a list of all the threads and again we have to find out sql server so i'll just quickly type sql se and there you see sql server has many threads there sql server 0 1 so let me just scroll down and zoom in a bit to show you that because of course there are multiple threads that sql server will create when it starts uh, these are all those thread numbers there and I'm going to choose SQL Server uh, slash zero there, which is going to be my main thread, the primary thread. And I will get this uh, uh, elapsed time since this thread was started. And the fun stuff was, this is uh, of course to satisfy the intellectual curiosity. The You will probably see that uh, the uh, number of seconds for this main thread is going to be slightly more than what you get from the DMV. Of course, because this is the main thread and um, when it begins it will spin off many more other threads and at some point that information gets recorded in the dynamic management view so if i add this here uh, click on ok and let's go and change the format to report and we can see five two nine eight uh, three zero one two three so every second it's increasing so this is the number of seconds since that main thread for the sql server process has begun and now It'll be some fun. I keep both of them side by side and we just want to do a quick uh, comparison of this number with this number. So now we have 53201 and let me quickly execute this and we'll, we'll look at, I'll zoom in and quickly see the time there. 
Okay, so we execute this and there you go, 5125. And you can see that uh, this, oops, sorry. I'll do this once more and quickly execute and zoom in. And now you can see that this one said that it has been 5,335 seconds and this one says 5,339 seconds. So about four seconds, four to five seconds more because this is the main primary thread that begins, begins and then of course it spins off uh, other threads uh, and at some point it gets recorded in the database engine. Just some fun stuff, not so much practical because you anyway get, to get this information from uh, the uh, dynamic management view. Yeah, but SQL Server internal stuff. So yeah, hope you have some fun with this. With this, thank you very much. Hope this video was worth your time. See you soon in another video.